Hi, I'm Judy. Welcome to Go Within Yoga and this sacral chakra practice to get you in touch with your emotions and also to get you into the flow state. I'll talk about that in a little bit. So to begin with, go ahead and come and take your... I suggest sitting up onto a prop, a block, a bolster, some blankets. Take the soles of your feet together. You might want some blocks underneath your thighs to make it more comfortable so that your thighs can rest into them, although not for this first pose. <laughs> for our first pose, we're just getting a little fluidity into our joints, and that is the name of the game because the sacral chakra is associated with the water element, with flowing. So go ahead, bring the soles of your feet together. Knees come out to either side, and then just let them come up and down as if you're flapping butterfly wings. And just go at your own rate, whatever feels comfortable for you. Just beginning to get move a little fluid into those joints. We do not need to warm up for yin yoga at all because we're not using our muscles. But sometimes it feels really nice to just get a little movement before we get into our practice and into the stillness that is yin yoga. Okay? And then let your legs still keeping the soles of the feet together, staying in butterfly pose. And now I'd like you to just come over to one side, really doesn't matter which, then over to the other. So we're making little hip circles while we're still in butterfly pose. Going with the flow. I would love for you to visualize in your mind, maybe even closing your eyes, a river flowing river and it comes and go ahead and switch directions it comes to a dam uh, maybe tree is falling into the river and it just flows around it it finds a way it's flexible so I'd like you to imagine you are that river you are flowing with ease and you are flowing easily around challenges and then come to stillness. This is where you might want blocks underneath your thighs. And this is butterfly pose, and we are going to hold this for approximately three minutes. And I'd like to read you a poem from Donna Ashworth from her book, The Right Words. And it is entitled, Whatever Makes You Glad to Be Alive. Do that whenever you can. Whatever gives your soul that lift and elevates you to a level of harmony, peace and contentment, chase it and grab it tight. Stop seeing your life as a chore to be dealt with every day and start searching for gaps to put in blissful moments of joy. Nobody said life had to be this hard. Nobody made you sign up for a daily grind so punishing you couldn't find the energy to do what makes you happy. This life is short, my friend, and each of us don't know how long we have. So let's not waste another moment of another day feeling like a prop in our own show. We are the stars. We are the show. Get out there and love your life. And if you can't, make it more lovable. Change things around. It's your life. Do whatever you need to do to get any kind of good feeling every day. And start now, right this minute. The future is promised to no one. What are you waiting for? This poem really spoke to me. Life can be hard sometimes. I mean, I'm not going to lie. It happens. But we have a choice about how hard we make it. We have a choice about choosing what we can do in this moment, right here, right now, to make something a little more comfortable, 
a little more easeful, a little more fun, even the hard stuff. We can dance a little maybe. We can listen to music. I'm not a dancer, by the way, <laughs> unless no one's watching. Um, there's just all sorts of things. So if there's two things you take away from today's practice, it's one, flowing like that river. I really like you to visualize that whenever you can. And then asking yourself in those moments that feel hard, what can I do to feel happy? Not necessarily something else, but what can you do in this moment that will make it feel more easeful? Very pertinent question for yin yoga. And go ahead and reach your hands underneath your thighs and slowly bring your knees together and you can just you know take a few seated cat cows let the spine move a little bit get a little fluidity into the spine we're concentrating on the sacral chakra today and that is tied to the water element and its color is orange I can't always match the color of of a chakra but sometimes I can Go ahead and come off of whatever you've been sitting on. If you have a bolster, go ahead and place it horizontally across your mat, a little bit below the short end of the mat. And then try to take this area, the low belly, on top of your bolster, which is completely optional. So it looks something like this. And the hands come slightly forward of your shoulders or at your shoulders, if that's comfortable for you, we're in Sphinx Pose. I need to grab this so I can keep track of time for us. How can you find the joy in this pose right now? Does that mean being on a bolster? Maybe on some blankets. Maybe you find it more joyful and more easeful to be on the mat with no props at all. No wrong or right answers, only a wrong or right answer for you. And I invite you to close your eyes. Allow your body to soften. Notice what your neck is doing, whether your chin is jutting up towards the sky. Maybe it needs to come in a little bit. And then just taking your attention to that sacral area. Maybe visualizing the color orange there. Maybe visualize yourself as that river that is flowing around the obstacles. Just keeps going. If you haven't already, you may like to set an intention for this practice, which is a fairly short practice, but very effective. Physically today, you will be strengthening your back and your hips, among other things. And on that more subtle level, I would love you to think about flowing through your life with joy. Or set whatever intention speaks to you. Maybe it's just, I'm getting on my mat today. I'm doing this practice. Maybe it's what I, I want to 
Let go of stress. Bring more joy into my life. Notice anywhere you're holding tension in your body. Visualize that river flowing. See the river spreading over that tension area and just washing it all away. And the last couple of breaths here. Go ahead and begin to push into your palms. Slowly straighten your arms. You can always take a brief pause here. This is seal pose. A little more compression on that low back. Or just walk your hands towards your body. And then slowly come into child's pose. Moving that bolster forward. And take a few breaths here. And then maybe even swaying side to side, flowing, being flexible. And then come back into a tabletop position. See if you're using that boulder, bolster, <laughs> place it vertically on your mat, and up the upper two thirds. And take your knees wide, maybe the toes touch. And you are slowly lowering yourself back into a child's pose and draping yourself over that bolster. Okay. Move this around again. Really letting everything go. Slowing down, allowing yourself to cool. Making your life fun and easeful. And cheek is on your bolster. And head is turned to whichever side feels most comfortable. I'll let you know when to turn your head. Allow your breath to deepen. Really feel the ribs pulling apart from each other softly, gently. Flowing outward, flowing inward. And then maybe taking your attention back to your sacral area. Go ahead and switch your cheek to the other side. Maybe visualizing yourself laying in a stream, cooling off. Cool, clear water just rushing all around you, soothing you, bringing you joy.
and asking yourself again, what would make this pose more joyful, more easeful? You can, of course, take child's pose on your mat without a bolster. If it's very uncomfortable in your legs, you can take a blanket between your thighs and your calves. That may help. And if your ankles are not comfortable in this position, you can also roll up a small towel or a blanket and place it underneath your ankles. If you are using props, allow yourself to sink even deeper, feeling that support, feeling safe, secure. Last couple of breaths here. And go ahead and press into your palms and bring them back by your knees. And slowly bring your torso upright. Perhaps taking the bolster and putting it horizontally across your mat again as you move into our final pose, Shavasana. Or leaving it vertically and perhaps draping yourself over it and instead of traditional shavasana you might like to come into supported fish pose i will have a video in the description box and also as well up in up here that shows you variations of supported fish which is a really great cooling calming pose for summer as you are relaxing in Shavasana, bringing your attention back to the intention you may or may not have set, doesn't matter. Allowing your breath to calm. Allowing your entire body to completely relax and let go. I want to read you Donna Ashworth's poem once again. Whatever makes you glad to be alive, do that whenever you can. Whatever gives your soul that lift and elevates you to a level of harmony, peace, and contentment, chase it and grab it tight. Stop seeing your life as a chore to be dealt with every day and start searching for gaps to put in blissful moments of joy. Nobody said life has to be this hard. Nobody made you sign up for a daily grind so punishing you couldn't find the energy to do what makes you happy. This life is short, my friend, and each of us don't know how long we have. So let's not waste another moment of another day feeling like a prop in our own show. We are the stars. We are the show. Get out there and love your life. And if you can't, make it more lovable. Change things around. It's your life. Do whatever you need to do to get any kind of good feeling every day. And start now, right this minute. The future is promised to no one. What are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? Such a good question. 
it's easy to get lost in the I must do more, I must do more, I'm not doing enough feelings. We all have those moments. But you are doing enough every day and if you're not finding joy in every day it's time to shake things up and find the things that get you into your flow and make your life more easeful. Begin to allow your breath to deepen. Sinking deeper and deeper into any props you may be using. Feel yourself held securely, safely. Begin to make any small movements you need to come back into the present moment. Taking that feeling of joy and of ease with you. Maybe circling wrists and ankles, or wiggling fingers and toes, moving a little side to side, getting that flow on, whatever you need. And on your next inhale, reach your arms up overhead. Really reaching from your fingertips all the way down to your toes. Exhale, slowly, gently, roll over to one side. And if it's comfortable for you, close your eyes. Take a few deep breaths. Give yourself gratitude for showing up today for maybe feeling you didn't have the time, but making the time anyway. And slowly begin to push into your hands, bringing your torso upright or remaining in Shavasana as for as long as you feel is necessary. And bringing your hands together in front of your heart in prayer, begin to rub them back and forth. Getting ready to step off this mat the same feeling of peace and calm and joy and flow and ease still in your hands at heart center really pressing palm into palm elbows flare out wide slightly nodding your head over your hands may you be healthy may you be happy may you be free from pain and suffering and may you feel easeful in whatever you do slowly begin to blink your eyes open taking in your mat the rest of the room or if you're outside beginning to hear hear <laughs> all the noises all the cheerful bird song and the rustling of the leaves Thank you so much for joining me today. I know you have a choice of who to practice with, and I'm so grateful for each and every one of you who've chosen to practice with me. If you enjoyed this practice, please go ahead and click the like button. That helps me reach even more people, make more people's lives easeful. And if you want to practice with me again, you can click the subscribe button, click the bell, You'll also find underneath in the description the link to join my Facebook group. I show up there for even more free stuff for you. And go out, have an easeful day, find your joy, find your flow, maybe find a river to take your ease by.